I'd like for us to go into the energy uh, with our little use again. So feeling, it's so interesting because I feel like there's um, some method of transportation. I don't know. At first it came through like a choo-choo train that we were on as children, but it's also, and I, I don't remember ever riding a choo-choo train as a child. So I don't know um, about that, but I remember my son riding a choo-choo train. So there's something about a mode of transportation, whether that's, like I said, a, a, a uh, you know, at a fairground on a choo-choo train, whether that's rollerblades, um, whether that's um, a bicycle, skates, uh, a raft, whatever it is, know that, that energetically you are in the power and you have the ability to be in this um feeling quite capable. I love the energy of that. Thank you guys. So closing your eyes, connecting with your little you. Being open. No expectations. No limitations. Be okay with the outcome. And your little you wants to show you something in your earth star chakra. That's that chakra beneath the ground, beneath your feet. So what's the first image or thought or whatever that comes up in your earth star chakra? And now they're climbing up this spiral staircase to your root chakra by your tailbone. And they want to show you something in there. This is a beautiful area to be grounded in. So they're feeling very grounded in here. So what are they showing you in here? What's your little you showing you here? And they are flying up to the abdomen, to the sacral chakra. All that creative energy in there. And they're showing you something in here. And then they are climbing this ladder up to the heart chakra because the kids love climbing ladders and we are giving them free reign to do so. Climbing up this ladder, up, 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 up into the heart chakra. And your little you has something for you there. And because it's okay to be a child, we're going to take the slide back down to the solar plexus. So feel the energy of the wee <laughs> back into the solar plexus, into the belly. And what are they showing you there? And because our kids and even us at some point absolutely loved ladders. This one's a different type of ladder. This one's one of those string ones, like, like the rope with the wood rungs. And we're climbing up that just like we're going up into a tree house, we're climbing up, up, up to the throat chakra.
And as we come into the throat chakra, our little you has something to gift us there. coming into your third eye, again, by this spiral staircase. The little you has something to give you there as well. And going down through like a seashell, like a conch seashell, the big seashell, down, down, down over towards the pineal chakra. That's that area between the third eye and the crown. And as you slide into the pineal chakra area, the little you has something for you there too. And then there's this beautiful ray of light, just like on the space movies. It's like a beam me up, Scotty. Our, our little yous are being beamed up to the crown chakra, and they are so excited to be doing that. And in the crown chakra, they have something else to give us as well. So now that we're all the way at the top there, we're feeling the energy of this beautiful, beautiful energetic vortex, this energy vortex that's all around us. And we are being invited, we're inviting our little yous to go down and around, like just like say like a bobsled or a toboggan or whatever you feel comfortable doing. Maybe it's a magic carpet, but feel the energy of taking that that energy vortex and that you are actually actively swirling through that. There's no getting dizzy because it just feels so natural to be on it. You're just feeling the woo <sighs> all the way down to the ground. And at the ground, there's this beautiful field all around that we're sliding into filled with flowers. And while we're here, we're laying on our backs, our little you is at our side. Maybe we have our arms up, you know, like, like with our hands behind our head and we're looking at the sky, watching the clouds. And our little yous are laying with their head on their, our arm. We're chewing a straw, like, you know, just like the straw, not necessarily grass, but like, a wheat straw or whatever it is. And we are talking with that in our mouth and feeling good about it. <sighs> mm. Mm. Thank you, little you. Give them a kiss on the forehead, the cheek, the head, the arm, the hand, whatever. Make a game of it even. Just feel the joy that both of you are experiencing. Mm. And thank that little you again. Thank yourself as well for undergoing this journey and witness the dragonfly coming over to land on your little used nose. Now, what color is that dragonfly? Hmm. 
Mm. And so it is. Beautiful. Each of those gifts are something that your little you enjoys or recognizes that you enjoy. Each of those items has a special meaning for you.
you are being asked to recognize the symbol from your energy. Okay. And I'll give you an example. Uh, in the third eye, I got a telescope. I was gifted a telescope. <laughs> And I, um, it, it wasn't, it was something that I entertained for a brief moment, having a telescope. And, um, but it really wasn't my thing. And yet here I am, the galactic shaman. And what do I do? I'm always, you know, tapping into the energy of the stars, reading books about the stars. And uh, just really kind of, uh, kind of funny that here a telescope comes up. So it may not necessarily be something that you remember doing or having as a child, but it has special meaning for you. 